Hi everyone, this is Luann, and I'm here with try number four on recording this mini album. Seriously, I don't know what's wrong with my webcam. It's got issues. So, here I have a Madagascar mini that I created for a birthday gift for little Haley. And the Digi, actually, I use Digi scrapbook paper from uh, Digi Scraps Delight. It's the circus scrapbook kit. Um, the the lady's name is Robin Sampson, and her Etsy store again is Digi Scraps Delight. And a lot of the Madagascar images, actually all of the Madagascar images, I got off the internet. I just printed those for this particular one. I used it about three or four times, and I have her name popped up on Pop Dots. I have ribbon closure. And I have red felt covering the ribbon binding that I did. There's the inside. First page. Birthday girl, room for photo. And this pops up so that her picture can slide right in. And here are some photo mats. This book, I went way overboard with photo mats. So, so you'll be seeing a lot of photo mats. This is a little booklet I created with embroidery thread. Just wrapped it around all of the sheets, or all of the folded pages on the inside of the fold, and on in between each page. That's the booklet with photo mats. Room for journaling. More photo mats. And for this one, um, again the images that I printed up from the internet, and I just cut them and rounded the corners, or I used. Um, my spellbinder dies. They pop up so you can slide so she can slide the photos in. And here you can see the ribbon binding. And this is one envelope here. So it's folded and then this is the spine the inside of the spine. Here we have a another pocket with photo mats. Two tags for journaling or pictures. Photo space here. And this is my center flap. On all of the panels for the center flaps, I left empty so that she can add pictures. More photo space and room for journaling. There's another one. It's a little pocket so she can slide a picture in there that opens up. And these two photo mats are open up top. I only glued the three sides here. And I inserted little tags and I attached ribbon to them with my Tim Holtz mini attacher. And these little tags are done with the Sizzix die. Sizzix tag, I don't know what the name of the die is. We have the next page with journaling spots and a paper clip with ribbon to hold this trifold closed my other sensor flap with even more room for photos and or journaling and this is an envelope pocket flip page I don't know if that's the right word for it or right name for it I found a tutorial lost it and then found the tutorial again and I thought I added to my favorites and I did not so I cannot remember who did this but I actually found two people who did this tutorial and this little envelope flip pocket opens this way and they have tags each page has a tag and then it opened up it opens up this way and then this way and then it opens up again this way and then out it's pretty neat you can add a whole bunch of pictures in there I think you can add at least 18 no it's 18 plus pictures or is it 16? I don't know, but it's a lot of pictures that you can add here. I have ribbon closure because it's going to get even chunkier once the pictures are added. And then these two pages here are mirror pages, so they're exactly the same. Here I have room, oh, it's a side pocket here. Room for photo. And actually, I need to add a journaling spot here. I forgot to do that. And we have photo mat, room for journaling, journaling photo mat. It's just a little em envelope. She can either do more journaling or more pictures. I have more photo mats here. I'm telling you, I went crazy with these photo mats this time. 
and we have and again this is the mirror page for this side here and then I have this coin envelope pocket that I came up with um, I'm saying I came up with it because I haven't seen anything if there is something already out there then credit to them but I haven't seen anything like this and I was just playing around with my envelopes because I have about 200 of them and I don't use them so I need to I needed to figure out a way to implement these into my mini albums and this is what I came up, came up with so here we have one of the flaps that you can add a picture or journaling depending on the paper that you use or you can even put another photo or a little solid colored mat here and do some journaling this flips up and there is a tag here and another tag here and this flips up and there's a tag here and then another tag here you can even add more another pocket here for another tag but I just needed I just left it with a little belly band just move the belly band lower I left it with the belly band glued down because I didn't want to make the little flip pocket or the flip book a little bit more chunkier than it needs to be. I have the next my center flap with even more room for photos and journaling. And for some of my photo mats I used my corner photo punch where you can just slide the picture underneath like that. Here's a different one that I have. They're hard to find. I usually get them. The two that I found, I found online. Actually, this one I found online. This one I found at Michael's. There was one. There's always just one of what everyone wants left. And we have another space for photos. And these little tags pull out for journaling. And next page. And these pop up. So you can slide the picture underneath. And that one's open to center flap more photo mats you guessed it and I included the measurements for these so that she can she doesn't have to worry about figuring out how big or how small to cut the pictures because these can be a little tricky if you're not you know into scrapbooking or if you don't know how to measure like I do and we have a waterfall page here there are a ton of tutorials on the waterfall page and once you get the hang of it, there you can adjust the size to make it however wide or, or long, or tall you need it to be. Um, I've done. I include a waterfall page in almost all of my mini albums that I do, along with an empty page. The last page I usually leave blank so that they can create a little collage. And the back I also leave blank. She can either write what happened that day or she can add more pictures here. And the back, it's pretty simple. Not too fancy. So here's our mini book. Yay! I went through the video without it stopping. So hope you guys like it and thanks for watching.